shine control primer on my eyelids because my eyelids get pretty oily and this really does help control oils all over my face so I'm going to do that real, real quickly I'm going to go in with my eye base and this is this is really old use any eye base you want you can use concealer you can use eyeshadow primer whatever you have on hand I have this uh, eye spackle this is from Laura Geller her eye spackle like I said it's pretty old what I do is I just take this on my finger because it helps like really melt the product up take a little bit on my finger like that and I just run this along my entire lid this is just gonna ensure that the shadow does not crease now I take this eyeshadow brush here and I take my Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Transparent. Let's see there. I take this and I just put this all over my lid. It helps to set the base that I have put down. And just helps with blending out all the shadows. A lot better to let y'all know I'm not a professional whatsoever um, I just love makeup and I'm learning alongside you guys so do not sit here and think oh my gosh she thinks she's a makeup artist I know I'm not like clearly I know that I'm not um, I'm just trying to self teach myself and learn just like I feel like most um, women are so do not get offended whatsoever if I do something wrong because you know what like they say makeup has no rules right but as long as you're getting the initial product the way you want it to look I don't see a problem but to each its own right the first color that I'm gonna go in I'm using my uh, BH Cosmetics Missy Lynn eyeshadow and baked highlighter palette I'm going to first go in with this like uh, kind of like burnt orange color. I'm going to swirl my brush in there. Tap off the excess. Always do that. I'm going to focus this a little bit above my crease. I'm going to swirl it around just like this, and then I'm going to bring it in like that. I like to swirl it around at the ends first because it helps give the most product there and then sweep the rest of the product onto the eye. Blend out this area. 
going to take an even smaller blending brush. This is just a brush from BH Cosmetics and the brush that I was just using um, is from Mali Beauty. I had that brush for like ever. And then this brush is from BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics as well. So now we're going to go in this color right here. Swirl it in like that again. And then bring it in just like that.
Cheeto brush, I'm not really sure. I'm going to take this and dip it into that like purpley brownish color that we used right on the outer B. Just take that a little bit on the brush and then we're gonna run this. Instead of bringing it all the way in, we're instead gonna bring it like halfway and bring it into the outer. So like right about there, just run that up, just like that. Bible palette and I'm going to take that like dark maroonish color and I'm gonna run that on the outer part. So right here, I'm gonna run it just right here. Nowhere further, just right in this area. Take the Mikasa Beauty brush. Um, this is their pencil brush. This is the E. 310 bed, so I'm gonna use this to blend everything out so it's not so harsh down here. Ooh, this is very soft. I like this. Ooh, we like it, we like it. It's very, very soft. It's not uh, harsh at all. I kind of thought it would be a little bit harsh, but it's not. I actually like it. And it's blending out really, really nicely. I think it looks really good. Of this makeup tutorial, I'm going to go in and highlight the inner corners and the rest of my face. And what I'm going to use is my Kate Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Baked Illuminating and what? And Bronzing Palette. If you've been on my channel long enough, you know I love this. is like my baby, my ride or die. Um, I'm going to take this color right here. Take the small brush right here. And I'm just going to dip it in the pink and gold there. Do that. And then I'm going to apply this on the inner corner. Went till it hurts. Just to get you on doing whatever works. You ain't never met nobody. Before I move on to the rest of my face, I have like my face. I'm going to go in and um put on some mascara. You can put falsies with this look. I think falsies like um, the Demi Wispies from Ardell will look so, any Wispy type of lashes I think will look really really beautiful with this look but since like I don't have false eyelashes like, because I haven't gotten around to purchase any I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on mascara the that I'm using today is the Max Factor X Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara and I think this is in Velvet Black yep, Velvet Black Highlights. What I use for lips were these two lips, <laughs> these two products. This right here is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish uh, Clay on Lip Contouring Pencil. I'm taking like this brownish. Color. I'm just gonna line my lips. Weird shaped lips. I don't know what that's about. But I'm gonna appreciate what the Lord gave me because He wouldn't have made me like this if I wasn't supposed to be like this, right? Anyways. Um, this is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lippy in Frickin' Frack. That is the finished look, the eyes, the lips. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Definitely subscribe so you can stay up to date with me and everything else that I put on this channel. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, definitely go check them out down below. I leave them all linked there. Definitely follow me there. Um, if you want to ask me any questions and answer them in a future advice question and answer video, definitely go to my email here or I will leave it down below. Shoot me an email, talk, chat, and I will put it in a future video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my Thursday video. 
Bye guys. Did you kiss the last person you kissed again? Uh.